What's up, guys? New Year's Eve 2016. Super pop. Woo! Can't help but notice on the old social media, on the old Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, people complaining. People complain in 2016, worst year of my life. 2016, toughest year of my life. Can't wait for 2017. Same people, though, that were saying 2015, worst year of my life. 2015, toughest year of my life. Your guess what? Your life's never going to change. 2017 is going to be just as tough for you. That's 2016, 2015, 2014, till you change. You change. I'll tell you right now, 2016 was the best year of my entire life. The best year. Was it challenging? You bet. You betcha. But man, did I just grow a lot. I grew so much as a human being, as a, in quotations, as a man as a father, grew so much, started new businesses, great, great year, great year. And the end of it, the end of it was miraculous, miraculous. The way that things ebb and flow in our lives, the way that things come in and then leave our lives at the perfect time, the way that things transmute the way that things transform in our lives it's a miracle it's awesome so grateful so grateful for 2016 because in 2016 I learned and I grew so much from those challenging experiences and now I say now in my prayers I say bring it on bring it on I've been through so much crazy ass crazy ass child support type issues, you know, having a son, being in an on-off relationship, going through that, starting a business, having it fail. I shouldn't say fail, just pivoting it. My first time pivoting a business and changing over and seeing just incredible, incredible response. Best year of my life best year of my life 34 years in 34 years 2016 was a year that I can just say went down I'm gonna put an earmark in on that page in that chapter of my life I'm so grateful for 2016 I can't wait for 2017 but to me you got to start you got to do something because I'm here to tell you if you don't make a change if you're not willing to get out of your comfort zone, if you're not willing to let go of the things that don't support your vision, don't support your goals, if you're in, if you're in a job, a dead end job that you hate, you don't get by, if you don't have enough money, you need to change. You need to do something. If you're in a shitty relationship, if you're in a relationship that doesn't make you feel good, you don't feel loved, you don't feel appreciated, you don't feel supported, you need to do something about it. Do something about it, because it's not gonna get better. Things don't change unless you change. If you're out of shape, overweight, want to lose the weight, want you got to do something. Get your ass up. Get up. You got to do it. It's your life. You only get one. Don't stay in these miserable states. Don't stay in these shitty jobs, shitty relationships. Don't stay fat. Do something. Move. Get up. Take action. Because I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you there are some rough waters ahead rough waters and steel is tempered in the fire and we're just bare it's things are just barely warming up people things are just barely warming up we got some crazy stuff coming on in the future crazy stuff and i hope that through everything i do i can hope i can help some people temper themselves in those fires of change so bring it on 2017 i'm pumped i'm excited I'm ecstatic. I love the change that's going on right now. I love it. I see it. I feel it. I'm in the middle of it. Love it. So grateful. So grateful. Don't hold on to things. Let them go. If they don't support you anymore. Let them go. The job, the relationship. Just do it. It's tough. It's tough because what it is, you're, it's all about, for me, I'm going to digress for a minute. 
especially like over the Christmas holiday and stuff like that I've been really because I'm not Christian I'm not religious at all so to me I've been trying to find my own meaning for this December 25th holiday that the masses celebrate because I don't I'm not I don't believe in Christianity I don't believe in any religion I don't, I don't follow any of them devoutly so for me it's like everybody's calling me the Grinch everybody's calling me all these things and it's kind of like the the the, the three steps of truth you know first you are ridiculed second you are violently opposed and third it becomes self-evident and right now this year I really felt violently opposed like from people telling me I'm a Grinch from people telling me I don't have the Christmas spirit all those different types of things what I learned is that right now what I'm doing is I'm I'm really examining the underlying traditions and beliefs of my life a lot of people are in relationships because they believe they, they need to be in one. That if they get a divorce or if they split up because they have kids or something like that, they're a bad person. It's not true. It's not true. That's a belief that you were sold at some point in your life. You picked it up that, hey, the only way to be happy is to be in a relationship. And then once you're in a relationship, if you have kids, you have to stay no matter what. Those are beliefs that you picked up from probably your parents, from your environment. It's not true. It's not true. So make 2017. Let's let's make 2017 the best year of our life by being willing to do whatever it takes. To be mindful of our emotions, to be mindful of the experiences and the environments that we place ourselves in. If that environment, the work environment, the relationship environment, the family environment, if it doesn't bring you joy, if it doesn't bring you love, if it doesn't bring you unconditional love and oneness and unity and harmony, if it brings you discord, if it brings you resentment, if it brings you all those negative disempowering emotions, that's your inner guidance system telling you that you gotta get out of it. You gotta make a change, you gotta make a pivot. You gotta pivot. Most people aren't willing to pivot. They'll stay miserable in the delusion that things are gonna change in the future. Things rarely change unless you change. Once you change, then things change. Things in your environment are a reflection of you. So until you change, the environment's not going to change. You have to change it. And you change it by getting pissed off, by saying enough is enough. I'm done. I'm done with this job. I'm, I'm done with being broke. I'm done with being unhappy. I'm done with being unloved, unappreciated. Whatever it is, you got to be done. Then you got to move forward. Let's move forward. Let's make 2017 the best year ever. Best year ever. See you later in 2017.